Henry Dunbar has a car, but he only uses it occasionally. Primarily just on the weekends. I mean, it really sits. I fill my car up maybe once a month. Dunbar has been biking to work since 2009. He's adopted the lifestyle he's promoting through Bike Arlington and Walk Arlington programs. We let people know about the, the various ways that they can get around without using their car. We do maps showing people the easiest ways to get around uh, both on foot and on bike. Getting around on foot or by bike is recommended for better health and a cleaner environment. It can get them you know, places uh, oftentimes cheaper and much faster, uh, really, than, than taking their cars. I enjoy walking. I think that's the most effective way to do things. That's my bus. I like it because it has a simple route and it's only a dollar. Efforts to encourage more people to lead a car-free lifestyle are obviously paying off. Arlington ranked as the nation's third most walkable city in a recent study of 2,500 mid-sized U.S. cities conducted by the Redfin Real Estate Company. It also factors in data about pedestrian friendliness. So things like the density in the area, um, the, the length of the blocks, um, the width of the roads, so that it factors all those things in and crunches the numbers and gives you a score of between 0 and 100. Arlington as a city has a score of 67, which made it quite walkable. Real estate agent Ed Schmidt has been living and working in Arlington for over 20 years. He understands why people want to move to Arlington. More and more people want the ability to take metro into the city, uh, metro to their job, or walk to their job from, from their apartment or their house. As more people choose a car-free lifestyle, this trend will likely continue and grow. We really need to work with our community planners and our politicians to make sure that they know how much we value that and design our streets and our communities in ways that it's easy for people to adopt those lifestyles if they want to. Arlington has come a long way towards becoming one of the most walkable cities in the U.S. For writer Faisa El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.